guys, Mick from Ice Tracks 4x4 here. Today I'm doing a carbon winch install on the old 90 series Prado, pulling out the old Dominator. So stick around and I'll take you along on the ride and see what we have to do. Today we're going to unbox the carbon winch and I'll let you know what's inside it, so let's go and do that. So first thing first, stubby holder. Can't go without a stubby holder, carbon winch one, kbd4x4.com if you want to check those guys out. Now we have the battery isolated bracket that comes with it. Now, hook strap, not that I have a wrong one. What do we got here? In case of winch control box, so we'll add a winch controller. That one there. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Rubbery. Good, should be nice and durable. So the winch control box itself, all the wiring already hooked up, ready to go. In the box here as well, rubber boots for the other ends, all in the right colours. And and the wireless winch controller itself, which is what I'll be using when I'm beyond wide, I don't think. Unless I really have to. Bolts, the breather for the winch, uh, the battery isolator itself with the lever is in that box there. Hook itself. I will think I will change that later. We'll see how we go. Um, oh, and the, uh, the winch fair lead. So, this is an offset fair lead as well. So, if you need to offset it, you can flip it, make it higher, or we'll just run it so it's straight. That'll be going as well. Now, down to the nitty gritty instruction manual. The winch itself. So that's all in here. Oh shit. It's not too crank over. Alright. So, that's the carbon winch itself. So, apparently, you can rotate the. Uh, Not exactly light, by any means, but lighter than everything else on the market, so... Oh, God. So that's the winch there, 12,000 pound. Uh, really nicely built. A lot better than what's currently on the vehicle at the moment, so... So yeah, let's get to uh, pulling everything apart and fitting it up. Alright, so the first thing you got to do when you're removing your bull bar is remove your antenna and disconnect the winch power. So we don't have any power, live power while we're playing with it. Um, next thing from then would be to remove your grill. From there, we're going to unplug the spot lights. Then we're going to remove the number plate, unbolt the control box, put that back, unhook the winch hook from underneath, remove the, uh, the plate from underneath there, that splash plate, and we'll be able to get to the bolts for the bull bar. And then from there, six bolts either side, and then the bull bar will come off. So, pretty straightforward, and we'll uh, get into it. Let's go.
right, so we're rolling the big 80. So those of you in the video who uh, have been watching so far, this is my cousin. He's the one that's been helping me. What's up? So we're just gonna go for some lunch now. And I'm gonna roll around in this uh, four inch lifted 80 series on 35s, which I will show in a later video. We'll do a bit of a vehicle review on it when it's all done. And we'll be right back with you. Uh, so at the moment we're just going to uh, undo the gearbox side and rotate it around so I get better clearance on the bull bar. And hopefully that sh should be fairly simple. I can't find anything online on how to do it, but we'll see how we go. More missed one. Almost. Always that last, that last one. There we go. Pop it out. So you can see we just rotate that around a little bit. Just so I get access in through my front bar. Talk to spec. Beautiful.
Alright guys, so that's the end of the winch install. And I'll just flick around now and show you it all wired up. And uh, yeah. That's it, not too hard. Rip off your ball bar. Just do everything in a uh, good sequence, I guess. And make sure you plug everything back in and bolt everything back up when you're done. So, here we go. So that's the winch install guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Uh, in the description box, you'll find the link to my Instagram and Facebook pages. If you haven't done so, head over there and follow those. Also, if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and that notification bell. It gives me the drive to make more videos for you guys. As always, have a good one, guys. I'll catch you next time.